Hey folks, Machine Repeat here. Hope you're having a fantastic 4th of July. I thought I might try to uh, add my own fireworks to your celebration here. Uh, I'm talking about a new record high auction price I saw recently on a John Deere 4020. Now anytime I, I write or talk about John Deere 4020s, uh, I get so much feedback. I mean, they're such an iconic tractor in the history of American agriculture. Um, now what you're looking at here is a picture of the former record holder. Uh, this was a 1972 4020 uh, with 2,499 one-owner hours sold on an auction November 21st, 2007 in Northwest Ohio. And this tractor sold for $31,000. Now again, that was the highest auction price I had seen on a 4020, so I had written about this and referenced this tractor quite often. Um, got a lot of feedback on it. Um, and the record stood until just recently here. Uh, when we came up to a June 18th uh, auction in southwest Minnesota, the little farming town of Steen. Uh, my friends at Polk Auction Company, uh, Jeff and Dennis Polk, I'm sure many of you know Jeff and Dennis. These guys travel the country buying and selling used equipment, having collector auctions all over the country. Great guys. They came out to have an auction that was an estate auction for Bill DeAger. Now, Bill passed away in March. I'm sure many of you knew Bill or had heard of him. He was one of the most prominent collectors of deer tractors anywhere in the world. And actually, Bill had an auction back in August of 2009 where he sold out his collection of two-cylinder deer tractors. And here's some pictures I took at that auction. Uh, that was fun. That was actually the first auction I ever went to to shoot YouTube video back in August of 2009. So. It was just a fantastic day, a big crowd, very strong sale prices. Uh, but when I was at the sale, I heard uh, people talking about the fact that these were not uh, the only deer tractors that Bill collected. He actually also had a collection of uh, next generation deer tractors, so 10 and 20 series, um, that he was not selling that day back in August of 2009. Now, it was that collection of the next generation 10 and 20 series that was up on the June 18th, 2011 auction. And this auction had two 4020s that both blew the doors off the previous high auction price that I had seen that $31,000 from back in Ohio, 2007. Now, here's a picture of the first one. This one was a 1969 Standard Council Synchro brought $38,000 on the June 18th sale in southwest Minnesota. But the king of the hill was this one, a 1969 diesel power shift council front wheel drive, so a very rare combination there, sold for $50,000 on the June 18th, 2011 auction in southwest Minnesota. Now these were just two of the highlights from this auction. Let me show you a few other tractors that sold on this sale.
we go. I told you that was quite a sale, wasn't it? June 18th, 2011, uh, Southwest Minnesota uh, Estate collector, collector Auction for Bill DeAger. Now, those were just a few of the highlights on the sale. Um, actually, in our website, machinerypeat.com, we've got kind of a fun little feature where you can pull up everything that's sold on a, any given auction. And I always like to do this. I think it gives you a little more context on a on a farm sale to see how everything's sold. But I'll just show you here. Like we'll call up that uh, John Deere 2520 that brought 74,750 bucks here. So here it is listed. And if I click on it, uh, you'll see here a list of all the items that sold on this auction. So here it is, June 18th, 2011, Southwest Minnesota. And you can just scroll down through the list here and see all the tractors that sold on this sale. Uh, quite a variety, 10s and 20 series. And, you know, Bill DeAger, he was one sharp guy. I mean, how unusual that a, someone that was starting collecting two cylinders made the jump into the next generation. Um, 10 and 20 series. It's like auctioneer Jeff Polk told me. He said Bill was just basically ahead of his time. He figured out years ago that the next big thing coming down the pike for collector tractor collectors was going to be these next generation tractors. So for deer, you know, these 10 and 20 series tractors. So this again was his fantastic line that sold June 18th, 2011. Um, and again, the sale was by Polk Auction. And their website is just www.polkauction.com and if you go there you'll see uh, Jeff and Dennis have a couple really nice upcoming sales here uh, this is their annual Labor Day sale three-day auction they have every year out in New Paris Indiana I'm hoping that I might be able to make it out to the auction this year to shoot some video um, I know they invited me last year and I wasn't able to make it but I'm hopeful that I can make it to New Paris Indiana this year September 1st 2nd 3rd 2011 should be Great time out there. And I know they also mentioned to me this particular sale here in Yuma, Colorado, end of October, um, is really going to be an interesting auction. So check out their website at polkauction.com or, uh, again, for any auction prices you need, come to machinerypeat.com.